guys ever want any nice products for the pump, for the pre-workout, literally anything you think of besides protein. We're gonna get protein soon though, but if you want like a nice pre-workout or pump product or skincare, focus, anything like that, you can go to the description, shop Gorilla products. I was not with a supplement company my first like three years of lifting. I got hit up by all the companies you can think of, EHP, BPN, 1UP, any supplement company you can think of. And I said no to all of them because I didn't truly feel like any of them fit me and how I trained because I was taking crazy pre-workouts with like DMA and um, things like that at the time. And then Gorilla hit me up and I took a sample of the pump product and the pre-workout and it was the best choice I've ever made. Ever since then, I've signed with them, I've been with them and I think I'll never I can never see myself leaving Gorilla. They're like the highest grossing pre-workout company right now and they make the most amazing products and they're the only products I ever use for the gym anymore because they taste good. They literally work the best. Try it, try it for yourself. Um, but yeah, if you ever want any of those things, just go in the description, click on the link and you can use code BALLS, B-A-L-L-S or code LEX at checkout, 10% off of your order. So yeah guys, here's the vid. Enjoy me suffering. <laughs> If you're wondering why I'm shaving my legs right now for the intro, it's because legs are a little hairy and if you're gonna do something of this caliber, you might as well look good while you do it, right? So yeah, today we're gonna be copying Tom Platt's leg day and you guys might have seen on my Instagram the picture of what leg day looks like or Snapchat if you haven't, here's a picture of it. I'm also gonna read the website because there's a lot of things on there about Tom Platt's. I don't know if this is his, his, his exact leg day, obviously. I don't know if this is literally from him like he wrote it down. But to be fair, it does look like something he would do. I'm just gonna read that. I'm in the gym and here's the sheet of what I'm gonna do today. And yeah, yep, you're reading that correctly. It says eight to 20 sets of squat. That's basically the whole workout right there. I'm gonna die and I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna literally immobilize myself just for views. So let's do it. We are all nice and groomed now. Got everything just looking all good. Everything's nice, legs are shaved, and we're ready for the gym. But first, it's like seven o'clock-ish. We have to go get Lonnie and Vert some food from the pet store, because we just ran out today. So I just fed them like a cup of rice and a little of these little baby hot dog thingies, just to tie them over before we get back later with their food. We're gonna get their food and then go to the gym. So I'll see you in a sec, brother. All right guys, so I'm basing this workout today off of this website called Gym Talk. I just searched up Tom Platt's workout sheet, and then this came up, so I just clicked on it. Workout, like I said earlier, does look like something he'd do. But we also also have a few things about him. So right here it says, it is largely agreed that in his heyday, Tom Platz had the best leg development the world has ever seen. Although his highest placing at the Mr. Olympia was a mere third in 1981, his legs were unquestionably in a league of their own. Platz's monstrous legs were way ahead of their time. And although some may disagree, in my book, Platz's formidable legs far surpassed the freakish trunks of Big Ron, Phil Heath, and Jay Cutler. This opinion was validated in a recent poll in Flex Magazine where readers agreed that Platz had the best quad and hamstring development of all time. And then we got a Sigma B lifter picture of Tom Platt's bending over showing his butthole looking like an absolute beast. Indeed, Platt's legs were so huge that on one occasion while out grocery shopping, he was mistaken for an old Japanese tree. I don't really know what that means or how that works, but. And their, sh and their striation <laughs> was such that they looked as if they had been painted by the brush strokes of M Matissi or however you pronounce it. I don't even know what that means. That's how crazy it was. Ultimately, for squat lovers like myself, Platts is a god, so come join me in the squat rack altar as we offer up a sacrifice. So what was the secret behind Platts' thunderous leg development? And surprisingly, it was squatting a hell of a lot. We're taking high intensity, high volume, high chance of vomiting squats here. If he didn't end the set withering around on the floor like an upturned beetle, he hadn't gone through it hard enough. <laughs> For example, That's this is how I you describe today? the feeling of finishing high rep squats. My heart rate soared upwards. I found myself gasping air in a way the sensation frightened me. I would fall to the floor, <laughs> place my magical towel over my eyes, and ask myself, what if my heart does not slow down? I saw stars, my legs fall as if someone was stabbing knives into them. <laughs> Take a butcher's look at this video from 1992 where a plaid squat 495 for 23 reps. I've seen this video, uh, we'll throw it up on screen right now. Pretty crazy, he does have 23 reps, we'll do it like 20 times speed. Yeah, he does, that's crazy. Yeah, it's a ridiculous workout. I only have like two hours and 15 minutes, but I'm gonna try to like hurry up as much as I can, get as much done as I can. I don't know if I'm gonna finish it, but I'll try my best to do so. It says sets, I'm probably just gonna do the lower of the sets, so like eight on, on squat, five on leg extension, six on leg curl. And then it says notes, warm up. Ensure that you warm up thoroughly before attempting this workout with stretching and mobility. I'm not gonna stretch. Platts like to perform a series of bodyweight squats before he even stepped foot in the gym. So, you know, we can just start doing those, I guess. And then it says counting reps, preferred to count his reps in sets of five as for him it was easier psychologically exertion attack every set with everything you have all right so yeah that's basically it i guess i gotta do like one punch man style like a little air squats before i walk in to get warmed up or something but yeah i'm gonna head into the gym now put my knee suits on and we're just gonna get straight to squatting so yeah enjoy champions are created from within 
know what your total being, every bit of inner person into your training to this day. You feel good no matter what. If an exercise doesn't have risk, it's usually not a good exercise. 500 pounds of you, you're out there in the air. That's why it's the most effective. There's most fear and most risk. Jesus. What do I do? Literally, what do I do? This is impossible. This is harder than the Tom Platts workout. I'm getting my f***ing knee sleeves up, dude. You guys gave me tips on how to put my knee sleeves on. And I've tried like the tips you guys give me every single one. If I'm wearing shorts, I can't. My joints on my knee are so small, and my calves and quads are literally way too and I've never had this much trouble putting them on, but it's because I'm outside right now. And honestly, I gave up putting them on, so this is how we're going to wear them today. Best to give me a loyalty, cause I'm taking the world you'll see. They'll be calling me, calling me. Be calling me royalty Best to give me a loyalty Cause I'm taking the world you'll see They'll be calling me, calling me They'll be calling me royalty They'll be calling me royalty I literally just did one set of 12 and I already feel like I'm done, but we got five more sets to go, 12 reps with 15, six to 10 sets, eight to tw 20 reps. I'm gonna do six by 12, so like the lowest on the sets, but like kind of in between on the rep. Yeah, holy f I'm already dead. Honestly, considering the time frame I have here, just being like two hours, I realized that I can't do 315 because I'm gonna have to hurry up. It's gonna be hard to still hit that weight. So I'm gonna go to 275. Let's see how long that lasts. And I already feel like I'm gonna throw up for some reason. Uh. I only did two sets. Things are outside and it's really fing hot. And Here, you want my thumb because you're a little baby? Uh. Oh, that burp just made me feel so much better. Why the f do I already feel like I think I went a little too heavy too fast and it's a little hot. Now the comments will be like, Lex does two sets of squat, throws up. It ain't like that. Okay, I can't do that burp for I don't know. Goo goo ga ga? Can't hang with Tom Platts? I'm gonna have to force feed it. Cause mm -hmm. I think every time I stand up properly, I feel like wrong. We well, still have a couple more sets left. Dude, don't do that. It needs to come out. What is that? What did I drink? <laughs> this is what you asked for. <laughs> a little Mozart playing in the back. <laughs> wait, wait, is that Mozart? I forget. Who's that other really good pian pianist? I forget the name of the person who sings Who Breaks This or plays it. <laughs> oh, Beethoven. <laughs> You know, in our two years of dating, I've never seen you throw up, I don't think. No worse spots. Sorry, Tom. It's too hot out here. You said two sets, I'm done. It's too hot out here and... You're a little baby? I'm just gonna do the other workouts because this is too much, bro. So you're not a hardcore bodybuilder. If you're a hardcore bodybuilder, you'd do another set. I'm sorry, baby. Are you okay? 
Because he's sweaty as f. He's so handsome. Right. Right, I know it's gonna become a meme that I threw up after two sets of squat. It's really hot out here and I have my belt on and I was doing them too quickly. So I'm not gonna my belt for these next four sets. I'm only gonna do like 245 because I'm just, I don't know, I feel like, ah, is that kind of being a so? Man, I'll fuck it, I'll just do 275. I'll, just, I'll stick to 275 as long as I can my belt. I'm already in it, I already threw up. Might as, well, might as well just go for it. This is the worst thing ever. I don't even know how it's already bad. I, I got like six other exercises to do. Yeah, you only have like 35 minutes now. 35? Yeah. Let's move on to the next exercise for the video. The next three sets, I'll throw them up here, here, and then here, somewhere, I don't know. Oh, in all three corners, I'll throw the next, last three setups like in high speed because I feel like, you know, I don't want to waste the whole video just doing squats. But yeah, now let's move on. I know it says to do the hack squats next, but honestly, if I did hack squats, I would die right currently. So I'm just gonna do the leg extensions. Erin is still benching, so I'm not gonna have her record for a second. I guess I'll just have to set my camera up like right here. Phrases because I, I, I don't really honestly like that exercise, and this one I just feel like is overall better. So, like the leg press kind of like cab, I always do it. I hate like standing, so I'm just not gonna do those. Same, same, as well. we're both working the cab, right? Some bodybuilder, he said, you train back, you train chest, you train arms, cool. Let's see what's under the shorts, mother. You feel sweet saying that while walking away? Yeah, I did. It says like hack squat, calf raises, and I think this is like a hack squat, but it looks like kind of sussy. So I'm not gonna do that. If I can find another hack squat, I'll do it. Let me go look. It says leg curls. I'm just gonna do hamstring curls instead because I don't know if there's a leg curl machine in here. I think I'm gonna have to, I think there's one outside. Pretty sure. So I'm just gonna do hamstring curls instead. Plus, I don't really like leg curls. They make my legs feel weird. And honestly, guys, I can't do the hack squats in general because 
I, every time I do hack squats, my knees act up really bad because I have tendonitis. The knee travel doing the hack squat is a lot, depending on where you put your feet, I guess. But overall, the exercise just for some odd reason hurts my knees every time I do it. So I'm not gonna do hack squats. I might do a different exercise. I'll see. But right now, it's these hack squat calf raises, and then we're gonna do some hamstring curls, and then I'll find the last exercise. It's currently 10:32. We're pretty balls deep in it. My legs feel like they're gonna explode. Like seriously, it's terrible. Yeah. on the right one over there that's what I should be doing because he's on it but honestly I've never done hack squat calf races until literally just now and that felt really good I can't believe they're cramping up but what can you expect to draw the volume I did today but uh, yeah I want to see my knee seems off because I'm feeling my knee for the rest of the workout and they're really suffocating me my calves are like gonna blow off hey, good luck getting those off now they come off fairly easy <laughs> that was the stinkiest smelling ever yeah, you know how it is, man. are my calves. You're, You're the mama cow oh. and you have calves. So why would you not give them milk? I'm asking near them. <laughs> I'm asking all y'all. Are you guys gonna deprive your babies like that? Give your babies milk! Yeah, I did most of it though, so. 
Hey, and Tom Blatz, if you're watching this, I love you, dog. You're my inspiration. That puke was for you, Tom. <laughs> Ten more. Come on, five more. That's it, guys. I don't have enough time to do anything else. I'm gonna grab the keys for the posing room. Yes, there's keys. You can't just walk in. You have to literally request it. You guys are gonna see the megalodons. Oh, holy fuck. All right, guys, we enjoyed me torturing myself for two hours and 15 minutes or something. Very, very hard. It was challenging. All respect goes out to Tom Platts. I don't even know if that's really his leg day, but I'd assume from the footage of when I've seen him training, he does stuff like that. He's an absolute animal. I never do things like this, so I thought it'd be fun to switch up for once. If you guys enjoyed the video, please drop a like. I'd appreciate it a lot in this video since I actually put a lot of effort into that. If you guys are wondering on a side note what Jeff's side was like, because I've been asked a few times like what was he like, he was pretty chill. At first, I thought he like was gonna ghost me because somebody came up to me and he recognized me, I think. And I said, hey, can I get a picture with Jeff? He's like, sure, let me go talk to him. And they're up in the posing room, then Jeff like walks past me, doesn't even look at me. I'd assume now that his friend probably, I don't even know what it was, but I just assumed that friend said, you know, didn't mention it maybe when he went in the posing room, he walked by me, didn't even look, I was like, damn. And I thought he left Gold's, but I waited outside of Gold's for like 10 minutes after, and he came out and said what's up to me. And he was pretty chill. What I really noticed about him, he's actually pretty tall. I really don't think he's five foot nine. Do you think he's five foot nine? I'm five foot nine, so no, he's yeah, like he's your like tall. And I don't know why the fuck people will say he's, I thought he was gonna be shorter than me, and he wasn't, and also. Why do people just like to say people in the fitness industry are short? I don't know. Like, why is that a thing? He really wasn't. And what I also noticed, on top of him being tall, he was huge, like he was a big, guy you know he's kind of big and he's aesthetic but when you see him in person like he's actually huge and he has this weird look to him he looks like skin but natty dick skin i'm not back i'm not like backing up saying he's natural not natural i don't care and i don't know but he has a weird he looks like you know, he's been training for 15 years he has this density to him looks like it's natural it's not like it's not like dick skin veiny dense dick skin you know what i mean did you like get that you know what i'm talking about i didn't really look at it well, he has much. like dense like dick skin not like veiny, i like trendy before, I, before he was like up close and he just looked like huge so uh yeah and i didn't expect also another question i got you know, why do you post that pic and stuff i don't know why jeff side posted a picture with me i just got a picture with him i posted it and i didn't air it to him or anything he literally the next day screenshotted it off my instagram and just randomly posted it and it was awesome so jeff if you're watching this man you are a legend thank you so much for that i really appreciate it and i don't know if you ever want to collab i mean i doubt it but you know if you ever actually want to hit legs or do anything crazy shit like this i don't know whatever just hit me up bro because i'm down you know i've been looking up to you for a long time so yeah i appreciate that jeff if you're watching this and yeah that's kind of how that went because i know a lot of people were wondering but uh right now I'm gonna go home. I think that's just gonna wrap up the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I hope Jacob cooked up for this video. Beans, uh, if Beans cooked up this vid, definitely comment something about it because he'd appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next.